Okay, so quick update. I went ahead and started uh, work on uh, putting the RPI in my 2010 Cyan XP. Um, one thing that kept me putting this off for so long is uh, my hesitation to buy an external monitor and where I would put it. Uh, however, I learned that the uh, radio that I bought some time ago, um, here I'll show you, it's the uh, Pioneer, uh, I believe XVT 2500BT, um, actually had a spot for uh, component video input as well as output so I could even add an additional external monitor. But the input was all I needed to get the RPI going. Uh, because the original Raspberry Pi had the composite video output, uh, which I will be able to run into the, uh, the video input on the uh, Pioneer radio that I had. So it turns out that I have a built-in screen all along. So <clears throat> I downloaded the, uh, the manual off the internet. Uh, looks like this is not uh, coming in focus, uh, but basically just gives me the outline of where my inputs and outputs are. So I'm using... Uh, RCA uh, composite video cables, the uh, red, white, and yellow here. I've already uh, pulled the radio out and put them in the, in the back here. Uh, sorry, you have to forgive me, I'm operating the camera at the same time here, tight space. Uh, so, um, I, you know, I don't want to disrupt the radio too much, so I went ahead and I'm just going to run the cables in. Uh, for right now, and then I will hook up the Raspberry Pi and start testing it out, make sure that we can still see what we're gonna, what we're supposed to see on the screen. Okay, so uh, I got my Raspberry Pi. Uh, also got uh, a wireless card, uh, PDMX, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, USB. Uh, this particular one I chose because it is compatible with the Raspberry Pi. It recognizes it right away. No additional configuration issues. Just plug and play. Also have my uh, keyboard right here that I'm going to plug into the Pi. Now again, this is a earlier model of the Raspberry Pi, one that still has the uh, composite video out. Now from what I've read online, um, this should, if uh, there's nothing plugged in the HDMI, it should output to composite. So I'm going to plug that in. I've already got my power supply, uh, USB uh, for the Pi. I've got my composite video cable hooked up, as I've already shown you. So we're just going to plug and play and see if we have any luck. Alright, so there's the Pi. I've got only the video hooked in. I'll, if I get the video going, I can worry about the audio later. Uh, keyboard connection right here. Uh, Wi-Fi card there. There's the existing uh, power cable. I just I had that one in here. I use that to charge my phone. Uh, but that's in here already. Alright, <clears throat> after a little bit of uh, working with it, uh, I've got it working. Uh, this is the Raspberry Pi uh, version one uh, B and uh, I've got it hooked up uh, via composite video uh, I was having a troubleshoot for a minute but I found out that it was just uh, the settings in the car radio that was uh, getting me uh, I had to go to the system and actually turn on the uh, AV input and once I did that uh, voila got the Raspberry Pi screen up and going prompting for a login